Hi guys, Good Girl here with a new video on fish networking. This time I will use Steam as a transport layer for a simple demo scene, based on suggestions in the comments of the previous video, part 11. For this to work I will use three free kits. Fish Networking Free, Heathen Steamworks Foundation Free, Fishy Steamworks. You can install these kits in that order. Install Fish using the package manager by selecting it from your assets. Install Heathen Steamworks using the add from GitHub in the package manager, as outlined on their GitHub page. Then download Fishy Steamworks, unzip it, and add it to your project. So that's where we are now, so let's create a demo scene. First create the Steam settings and add your application ID, or just use the default 480. You will probably need to restart Unity after doing that. Then we create a simple scene using a plane and two cylinders as spawning positions. Add a capsule and add a character controller to it. Add the moving script, which basically allows you to move the capsule. It's based on the example script which is shown in the Fish Networking YouTube tutorials. Now create a prefab out of it and delete it from the scene. Ok, now we will add the Network Manager prefab to the scene. We can add the two cylinders to the Player Spawner Spawns list. Don't forget to add the Player prefab to the Player Spawner Player Prefab property. Now we only have two more scripts left to add to the Network Manager. Fishy Steamworks and the Steam Manager. The Network Manager now knows it needs to use the Fishy Steamworks transport when you run the code. So now I'm running the code and you can see in the debug console that it's using Steam as its network transport. Also looking at the network manager with the inspector during runtime will show that the transport manager selected Fishy as its transport. Ok, that's it for now. In a future video I will show more of using Steam and Fish networking. If you liked the video, then please like it. And I'm off researching my next video.